Hello students, I am Sir Glenn, your subject teacher. Welcome to General Mathematics Grade 11. We're still on the third module entitled one-to-one -one and inverse functions. Our fourth lesson, finding the domain and range of inverse functions. Let's try to recall the difference or the definition of the domain and the range of a function. The domain of a function f of x is the set of all values that the variable x can take. On the other hand, the range of a function f of x is the set of all values that the uh, y variable can take. The y variable or the f of x. Remember, if the given is a polynomial function, immediately or automatically its domain and range are the set of real numbers. So, ano ulit yung polynomial function? Uh, a function is a polynomial function if nakita natin na lahat ng variable, uh, I mean, wala siyang denominator. The denominator is 1. Walang variable sa denominator. Walang variable sa loob ng radical symbol. At lahat ng variables nakarate sa non-negative integers. Meaning, walang negative na exponent at walang fraction exponent. Kapag, may, kapag nakita mo yung mga ganong bagay, kapag nakita mo na may negative exponent, may fraction exponent, may variable sa denominator, or may variable sa loob ng radical symbol, it is no longer a polynomial function. If the given is a rational function, its domain is the set of all real numbers except those values that make the denominator zero. Its range can be obtained by solving for y in terms of x, then, excluding the values that make y in the denominator equal to 0. If the given has a variable x inside the radical symbol, its domain and range depends on the index of the radical symbol. Yung index yung number na nasa uh, upper left uh, side ng ating radical symbol. If the, if the index is an odd number, the dominant range is the set of real numbers like cube root or fifth root or seventh root. Automatic ng ating domain and range ay set of real numbers. If the index is even, like square root, fourth root, sixth root, the domain is the set of real numbers except those values that will make the radical negative. Its range depends on the sign of the radical symbol. If it is a positive radical function, the range is always greater than or equal to zero. If it is a negative radical function, the range is always less than or equal to zero. Example number one, obtain the domain and range of the following. For the solution, watch this video. So in this example, we obtain the domain and range of the following functions. The first one, f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. So as you can see, that is uh, a linear function. Wala siyang denominator, wala siyang variable sa loob ng radical symbol. Ibig sabihin, automatic na ang kanyang domain ay uh, a set of all x's such that x is an element of real numbers. Similarly, since uh, allowed lahat ng real numbers, ibig sabihin, uh, ang ating range din ay walang restriction. So, wala din, lahat din ng uh, allowable outputs niya ay set of real numbers din. Okay, so, this is the case. If uh, the given function has no variable in the denominator and has no variable inside the radical symbol. Kapag nakita mo na polynomial function siya, automatic ng kanyang domain at range ay set of real numbers. Okay? Second example, f of x is equal to 3x all over x plus 4. So, papaano malaman yung domain dyan? So, uh, since meron siyang variable sa denominator, we try to figure out the value of x here that will make this part equal to 0. And then, kapag nakuha na natin yung value na yun, we exclude that sa ating domain. So, bring down this. X plus 4 should not be equal to 0. Transposing uh, positive 4, it will become negative 4. So, bawal si negative 4 kasi 
kung isa-substitute natin siya, mag-zero yung denominator, which is uh, wrong. Hindi pwede. Magiging undefined yung ating function. So, ang, our, ang ating domain ay set of all x's such that x is an element of real numbers and x is not equal to negative 4. So, to find the range, we write this function uh, we solve for for y in terms of x so this will be this will be uh, we replace this using y we have y is equal to 3x all over x plus 4 so all over 1 then cross multiply it will become xy y times this one is y times x is xy y times 4 is 4y is equal to 3x lahat ng may x ililipat sa so left, so xy, transposing positive 3x, it will be give us negative 3x. Transposing 4y, it will give us negative 4y. So, my common factor sa, my common factor sa kanila, which is x. So, may iwan ay y minus 3, and then negative 4y. Divide both sides by y minus 3, and y minus 3 here. So, it will give us x is equal to negative 4y all over y minus 3. Ito ngayon yung ibababa natin, just like what we did here. And then, we solve for the value of y na uh, mag-zero siya. And then, yun yung ilalagay natin sa tabi ni uh, range. So, transposing negative 3y it will give us positive 3y. Or, transposing negative 3, I mean, to the right, it will give us positive 3. Ito ngayon yung idadagdag natin sa range. Therefore, our range is of all y such that y is an element of real numbers and y should not be equal to 3. So the domain it should not be equal to negative 4. The range it should, it should not be equal to positive 3. Okay? For our third example, we uh, obtain the domain and range of this function. So uh, as you can see, mayroon, siya, mayroon siyang variable sa loob ng radical symbol. So, dapat ilalabas natin yan and we solve for the value of x. Dapat it is greater than or equal to 0 lamang y. Kasi kapag magne-negative yung radicand or yung nasa loob ng radical symbol natin, yung value nito, kapag nag-negative, it will be imaginary. Okay, imaginary number na siya. Beyond real number na siya. We are focusing our attention here uh, in the set of real numbers so solving for x we have x is greater than or equal to positive 2 so ang ating domain ay the set of all x's such that x is an element of real number comma x should be greater than or equal to 2 so this is our domain so our range will be uh, our range will depend on the sign of the square root or the radical symbol since positive ito and we only allowed uh, numbers or real numbers which are greater than or, or equal to 2 kapag sinashoot natin siya pwede siya mag 0 hindi siya pwede mag negative so our range will be the set of all y such that y is an element of real numbers and y should be greater than or equal to 0 so, bakit siya greater than or equal to 0? Kasi, ang allowable values natin ay lahat ng numbers uh, greater than or equal to 2 na kapag sinabsitute natin dyan, possible na ang output niya ay 0, possible na 1, hanggang positive infinity. Hindi siya pwedeng mag-negative. Okay? And then, bakit siya greater than or equal to 0? Positive yung sign ng ating radical symbol. Ibig sabihin, it approaches positive infinity. So, maiiba yan kapag nag-negative ito. Kapag negative square root of x minus 2 yan, our range will be y should be less than or equal to 0. Since positive siya, kaya siya greater than or equal to 0. Understood? The dominant range of inverse functions. The domain of the one-to-one -one function is the range of its inverse. On the other hand, the range of the one-to-one -one function is the domain of its inverse. So, how do we obtain the domain and range of the inverse functions? Una, uh, you obtain the uh, inverse of the one-to-one -one function 
and then you can you can now find the domain and range uh, by applying the things uh, that I've mentioned earlier. And finding the domain and range of a polynomial function, rational function, and a radical function. Example number two, obtain the inverse of the following and give its domain and range. For the solution, watch this video. So we obtain the inverse and we identify the domain and range of the following one-to-one -one function. So the first item we have f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. So how do we obtain the inverse? We replace f of x using y. y is equal to 3x plus 4. Second one, we interchange the variables. y will be x and x will be y. Since equal silang dalawa, we can swap their positions. 3y plus 4 is equal to x. Lahat ng uh, walang x ililipat sa left so i mean ililipat sa right so from positive 4 to transpose sa, sa right side it will become negative 4 dividing both sides by 3 so we have y is equal to x minus 4 all over 3 so this is our uh, inverse the inverse of uh, f is x minus 4 all over all over 3. Since nakita natin na walang variable sa denominator uh, considered polynomial function ito. Okay? Hindi siya wala siyang restriction. So, therefore our domain is the set of all x's such that x is an element of real numbers and our range will be the set of all y such that y is also an element of real numbers. Okay, second item, f of x is equal to x plus 5 all over 2x minus 3. So, we identify the inverse, replace this using y, y is equal to x plus 5 all over 2x minus 3. Second step, we interchange the variables, y will be x and x will be y. So, 2y minus 3 all over 1, then cross multiply. So, x times 2y is 2xy x times negative 3 is negative 3x is equal to 1 y plus 5 times 1 is y plus 5 lahat ng my y dapat mapunta sa left so we transpose positive y going to the left it will become negative y lahat ng walang y lilipat sa right from pot, from negative 3x it will become positive 3x then we bring down positive 5 my common sa kanila which is y ang may iwan ay si 2x and here, ang may iwan ay si negative 1 is equal to 3x plus 5. Divide both sides by 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 1. So we have uh, the inverse of f is equivalent to 3x plus 5 all over 2x minus 1. So paano mahanap yung domain kapag may variable sa denominator? We consider this. And then it will be uh, 2x minus 1 should not be equal to 0. So transposing post negative 1, it will become positive 1. Divide both sides by 2. So x should not be equal to 1 half. So ito ngayon yung i-exclude natin sa, sa domain. We have d is equal to set of all x's such that x is an element of real numbers. And x should not be equal to positive 1 half. So how about our... Uh, our range solving for the range uh, we try to solve for y in terms of x here so we replace this using y y is equal to 3x plus 5 all over 2x minus 1 so all over 1 cross multiply it will give us 2xy y times 2x is 2xy y times negative y is negative y is equal to 3x plus 5, lahat ng may x pagsasamahin, 2x minus y, then transpose negative 3, positive 3x, it will become negative 3x, is equal to y plus 5, and then this will be my common, which is x, may iwan si 2y minus 3, is equal to y plus 5, all over 2y minus 3, all over 2y minus 3. So cancel that we have x is equal to y all over y plus 5 all over 2y minus 3. So we consider this one 
bring down natin siya and then solve for y is not equal to 0 transpose negative 3 y negative 3 to the right it will become positive 3 so 2y is not equal to 3 divide both sides by 2 so we have y should not be equal to 3 all over 2 so therefore our range is the set of all y such that y is an element of real numbers and uh, y should not be equal to 3 all over 2 okay so last example we identify the inverse and give the domain and range of f of x is equal to x cubed plus 5 so Finding the inverse, we replace this using y. y is equal to x cubed plus 5. Second step, uh, y will be x and x will be y. So, equal silang dalawa, we can change their positions. y cubed plus 5 is equal to x transpose positive 5. It will become negative uh, x minus 5. So, para maalis yung uh, exponent na 3, we obtain the cube root of both sides. So, mga cancel na yan, we have y is equal to cube root of uh, x minus 5. So, since nakita natin na yung index ng radical symbol natin ay, ay odd, so definitely, uh, walang restriction dyan. Pwede siyang mag-negative sa loob, pwede uh, mag-positive, pwede rin siyang mag-zero. So, our domain will be set of all x's such that x is an element of real numbers as well as our range. Our range will also be a set of all y such that y is an element of real numbers. That is the case kapag yung index natin ay uh, odd. Just like in this example, the index is 3. Our inverse is f negative 1 of x is equal to cube root of x minus 5. So these are our answers. Okay? For the supplemental activity 3.4, you read the instructions carefully in each activity. Then, give the best or the correct answer. First part, write t if the statement is true. Otherwise, write f. Second part, read and analyze each of the following questions, then encircle the letter of your choice. Third part, give the inverse of the following one-to-one -one functions and identify the domain and range of the inverse. Submission of all outputs will be on Friday.